tell us about this building that, where we're standing. Well, this building um, we built in the summer of 09, and it is our wood chip, covered wood chip storage building. It's 300 feet long and 80 feet wide, and we can store uh, roughly one sixth, if you will, of the wood chips that we need uh, for burning in the winter under cover now so that we don't uh, have quite so wet or icy uh, wood chips that go into the wood fuel boiler. Um, in the past, we call them giant wood snowballs because we stored them out behind the mall and they would uh, come in in big clumps full of ice. You mentioned that the university's approach to, to infra infrastructure projects is, is a little bit different than other, other universities. Could you talk about that? Sure. Um, lots of universities and big corporations do uh, this energy service performance contracting and there's some what we like to call low-hanging fruit and that's lighting and some basic building controls measures that uh, set your temperature back at night and, and just then warm it up in the morning when you show up and, and, and we call those our base measures that we're taking care of. And we looked at those and we had about a uh, six or seven year payback on just those measures. But the law that authorized us to do this gave us up to 15 years, I think. And so we looked at additional things. What could we do to improve energy like the wood chips here and the chilled water tank and also increase the reliability and redundancy we have on campus for providing campus cooling that all the researchers rely on. So we, you probably won't see big infrastructure projects like this on most uh, energy performance contracts, but we chose to do it because we had the opportunity and we have the payback on the base projects to help fund these larger infrastructure type projects. I think a lot of us on campus have, have been able to see the improvements, especially in terms of lighting, but you've had some interesting outcomes in terms of lighting. We have the new, uh, more efficient lamps and ballasts. Um, uh, to some extent, some people don't notice because they look very much like a direct replacement as we go through and redo the fixtures. But they actually put out more light using less energy. So we've had some folks actually come and ask us to de-lamp their fixtures when we did it. If they had four lamps in their room, we might take out one or two. Uh, so that the lighting wasn't so bright they were getting headaches and things. So we've had to uh, go back and, and dim some of the lighting, if you will. How long is this project scheduled? What kind of disruptions are we looking at this summer? Uh, this summer, we will be doing the next phase of our East Campus Chilled Water Expansion, which will mean boring and trenching from the admin building to the School of Music over to the student health building uh, and then down the hill past the fraternities to engineering physics. So the impacts, we're going to attempt to limit them as we did last summer and we had the admin parking lot closed for most of the summer which made us a lot of friends. Um, so that'll be going on. Uh, we'll be finishing off the chilled water tank in that project and hopefully getting the construction crews out of there. Uh, then we will uh, be finishing up in the buildings over the course of the next about 12 to 14 months. So we hope to be done on campus and out of the buildings by the fall of 2011. Most of the, the most surprising thing that you've learned about energy efficiency through all this? Um, one of the interesting conversations we've had with a lot of folks about energy efficiency and, and how you calculate the savings and, and whether you actually um, need to read the meter to, to validate the energy savings. And, and I like to explain it like this. If, if you have uh, two light fixtures in your room and we come in and we upgrade one of those light fixtures, but you turn the lights off, it's not saving you anything. It only saves you energy when the light's on. And if the light is on, it is saving you the amount of energy we told it you, we estimated. Therefore, there's no need to read the meter. If, if the light's on, it's saving you the energy, and that applies to most of the, of the things we're doing. And so um, you can't just go to the meter to validate your energy savings because it may be that your light's on more often. That means you're saving more energy. It's sort of counterintuitive. Um, and for the folks who turn their lights off, we, we actually enjoy that. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> but uh, you're really saving the energy when it's on. And so that's an interesting conversation in letting folks know that uh, um, if, if we install these energy upgrades and they're working right, um, when they're on, they're saving us energy and that's a good thing. 